Hello everyone, and welcome back to my Wii Let's Play of Doom PSX. From where we last left off, we've completed Hellgate, and now we're into Hellkeep, the start of episode 3, Inferno. As you may notice, this is a lot different from what we saw in the... a lot different to the Hellkeep we saw in the BFG edition. And you can see there, there's an imp right in front of me, in this courtyard. And <laughs> I've already startled him. But right now, let's take care of him. And that's him out of the way. And also the music you're listening to right now, it's the one we've heard in Aztec when we were on Plutonia in PlayStation Final Doom. Now look at the fiery sky in the background. Also, did you have a good half term last week? I mean, I remember... Uh, what did I do in the half term? Hmm. Oh, yeah, I remember on Thursday evening last week, me and my dad went to Hallow Scream. Well, I was planning to have somebody else come along with me, like... I was going to get, like, Callum along with me. You know, Gary and Fleur's son. Um, I mentioned... I mentioned some of my last plays. But Gary thinks Hallow, for Hallow Scream would be too scary for him. But... But... He won't believe what I went... As, I won't believe what I went as in, in Hallow Scream during the Halloween week. I think I went as a, I went to Hallow Scream as a masked robber in you know, my jacket, in my balaclava. Although shockingly, I, w I went as one of the gang who raided Kevin Bloss home in Buxton. Although I wore, I had two, I had two pairs of gloves on me. One, one, with, one which is the black gloves that I normally wear for like winter months, you know, when it's cold, and the others I wore were like the worker gloves that I picked up from range. Except the ones I picked up from range were grey and black, although the knitted patterns were not were not basically red, as you may think. Also, I remember that when we were queuing up for one of the attractions at Hallow Scream, I managed to scare the young lady who was queuing up, who was also queuing up for the attraction. When she turned around, she was like, <gasps> "Oh, well, I mean, nobody has ever seen me in a balaclava before." <laughs> well, that was the first. And also, I used it as a woolly hat, which is which can be very useful. And also, when, you know, when it was drizzling, I had my hood up, also with my mask on. I mean, I mean, I look ten, two times or ten times scary with my balaclava and my hood up. That's what most criminals sometimes wear when they have balaclavas on and they have hoods up when they're committing armed robberies. But anyway, let's continue on. And, oh yeah, and you stock up with some bullets because I'm running low on, on pistol and chain gun ammo here. Hey, see, there's no bridge from anyway. Oh great, we've got Kaka Demon right here. Let's take care of him what we always did. Did you hear that? I've thought of the imps again. I get back here. Because the imps already hurt me. Where do you think you're? Ow! Well, that's them taken care of. Now let's take care of the other, the other imps. Ooh. Now that's brutality. <laughs> Get it? Anyway, back to Hello Scream. I I remember going there last year, and also uh, I remember when we were going through the maze when I was with my mates James Capo and Samuel Parker. When my, when my dad was off, my dad was off having some coffee. I remember some a at a certain point in the maze, there was a like a guy in a balaclava. Like a guy in a black balaclava. But I couldn't see it properly because it was so dark. And he was yelling at everyone to go through each section of the maze. And I remember when he got to me, and he was like, You! Go over there! And I was like, Okay, okay, okay! Okay, please don't... I was like, Okay, okay, please don't hurt me! <laughs> like I thought he was about to kill me. <laughs> God. I still remember the 
guy is wielding a chainsaw. Well, they're not, they're not like real chainsaws. They're like, you know, like the chainsaw you saw earlier with the cacti, well, chainsaw the cacti demon. This is the chainsaw right here. In case you forgot. And the ones I saw Hella Scream weren't basically real with the chainsaw like blades. So you'll see the chainsaw in action as we pick up this red key here. Yep, this is definitely a trap. Oh no 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 no. Oh, which reminds me. Ouch! How could no? Okay, first the picky demons and cacker demons bite me when I'm using the chainsaw, and now the imps sc scratch me when I'm using the chainsaw as well. Now where's the rest? Hm, I think that's all of them. Some stim packs here, in case if I need them. Anyway, as like I mentioned, this hell keep is a lot different to what we saw in the one we saw in the BFG edition. Oops, across the line. Whoops. Oh crud. Come on, Pinky. And you. Whoa, you think you're trying to get behind me, eh? Hmm, no be behind here. Oh, he did not say, oh, what's wrong, for, what's wrong, zombie man? You slipped. Also, back, no, also, again, back to Hello Scream. I remember one time at Hello Scream, I've seen a short film that some lads made called See No Evil, which is like a short horror movie. Where it's unlike, it's different to like, what you, ones you've seen, like, fr like Friday the 13th and The Nightmare on Elm Street and... Scream and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I don't know what any other horror movies are there, apart from like Jaws and... Oh! Gold Wall! The Revenant! Supposed to see him here. Oh yeah, I still remember a video on Daily Motion I've seen where some guy was doing a Let's Play of it on the, on the PC and then the Revenant was moving way fast. <laughs> Anyway, I'm not going to talk about that. Oh, it's a good thing they left some clips behind for my chain gun. And more caca demons right here! Get back here, you! That's right. Chains on you in the back. God, I'm... <laughs> I'm so bad. That's what villains always say. That, that line. When they say I'm so bad. Oh, come on! Another Kaku? Now, where did the other one go? I need to punch him out. Oh, he didn't last that long! I punched him right in the face! Try to let the Anthony guy in Liverpool. Oh, I can't, I don't remember his second name. I know he was punched down by one of the two men outside a McDonald's restaurant. Oh, there's some, some plasma ammo. I'll save them for later. So right now we better take care of these imps. Also, during Halloween week, I watched some horror movies. Like, for example, I've watched, uh, well, I've watched some cartoon episodes uh, from like, Halloween. Like, I watched two Halloween episodes of Rugrats, and one Halloween episode in all in its spin-off, All Grown Up, and, and I watched one Halloween episode in Horrid Henry, and another one with the weird werewolves. And I've also watched Wes Craven's New Nightmare, with one that has Heather Langenkamp from the first and third Nightmare on Elm Street movies. And also, afterwards, hmm, I've also seen a classic horror movie. I've also watched a, 
as I, like I said. I've also watched a classic horror movie from the early 1980s, An American Werewolf in London. I mean, what has werewolves got to do with Halloween? <laughs> I mean, we know people turn into werewolves at the full moon. Now, I still remember Jack Goodman, who, who was killed who was killed at the beginning. And when he's got mauled by the previous werewolf, he's like, Aah! I still remember him being like, Aah! It sounded like, he's, it sounded like he was snorting like a pig or a werehog. I think now's a good time to use the BFG 9000. Oh, spoil the infighting again. But that doesn't matter. Hello. What's going on? Ah. There's more pinky demons and imps. What the? Ah, there you are. I was wondering where you were. Oh, not ah, this again. Anyway, let's pick up the plasma ammo right here. I decided to save it for later. Anyway... Oh, I didn't think I forgot about you! Let's browse through this level in case we missed anything. It's simple to get through, but harder for the enemies. Anyway... Anyway, I can't believe I went as one of the robbers who raided Kevin Plaza. Home and boxed that hollow scream. Oh, I mean, I think I did, men I did mention in Refinery that if Kevin Bloor's son, who was eight at the time of the burglary, has got a computer at their home, he might probably look at some of the, look at my videos on my YouTube channel if he could type in my let's plays of like Doom and Heart of Darkness and Spider Man and all sorts of things and like my air accident videos, like the ones I made of a Singapore Airlines crash, the Singapore Flight 6 crash, and the crash of the Concorde. Or oh, I might have some more reconstructions of air accidents, like for example, I might think about doing the crash of American Airlines Flight 965, where it was on route from Miami to Cali in Colombia. Now with hell, now with hell keep finished, we can enter Pandemonium. But that's not to be confused with the video game Pandemonium that I did a Let's Play of a few years ago. Oh, it's a good thing I saw him! It's a good thing I got him before he got me- Whoa! There's a Hell Knight right over there! Oh my god, we're in so much trouble! Need to get rid of him first. Ha! He didn't last that long! Whoa! Nightmare Spectre did not see you here! Well... Whoa! Where'd you come from? Oh, I nearly died here! This is not good for my reputation. And also, the music you're listening to is the one we've already heard in Fortress of Mystery, and Ghost Town in Plutonia, in PlayStation Final Doom. Let's see here. Oh, he sure felt that one. Ah, oh, come on. I've just got my health nearly up. Oh, did not see you here. I really need to find more health. A spectre! Oh, sorry, they're hard to see. What the? How can I miss him out? Ah, finally. Let's see if there are any more lost souls. Yep, there's, there's a few more. Gotcha! 
Okay, I better check to see if this water is harmful. Hmm? Hey, it's not hot. Like the one we've seen in Ghost Town. Oh, come on! What do we expect next? Next gang of pinky demons. Like the one like the one we've already encountered in Demos Lab. Anyway, we're in hell now. Whoops. Oh, he's got one of the lost souls. I'm not gonna miss this one. What oh, missed? Let's take care of this cackalope. I think this is a lot, lot different from what we saw in the BFG edition, and not again. Whoa, my God, not again! Another nightmare spectre. And more frequent in this version, the nightmare spectres. To watch out for them, especially in pitch black areas. Finally, I really need some more health. And the Berserk Pack. Might as well grab that. <coughs> oh. And I burped again. It's been... It's almost been in every video of this Let's Play. Of this real Let's Play. I apologize for that. Oh, there's some imps over there! Oh, we know what's going to come next. A nightmare Spectre, and what's far worse. Where's the imp? Gotcha! Yep, that's that's the worst thing you're expecting to see. A Baron of Hell! I've not seen him since Hellgate. You really need to be careful using rockets in this map because it's very hard to... it's very easy to blow yourself up. Oh, dang, I just got my health back! Wait just a minute. Because this is where the imps had seen me. Oh, that's another Baron of Hell right over there. Oh, saved by the door. Now he's doing the same thing. When I open the door, he throws a plasma ball at me. Well, it's unlike the... Well, it's unlike the former humans where they shoot at me every time I open up the door. I like seeing Arachnatron do that. Yes. I hope a hell not gonna come down here. Ha! <laughs> he didn't last very long, there's another one right here. And yeah, he noticed me already. I mean, how did he know I was there? Is he like Batman or something? Yeah, it's always important to save the BFG 9000 for the Hell Knight and the Bounds of Hell. And look at that one, he's not going, he's not going anywhere, like the Hell Knight in Aztec. I don't think I forgot about you. Let's pick this up while we're at it. Oh, there's a lava room here. We'll get that, to, we'll get to that later on. Pick up this mega armor. Anyway, anyway, just look at this t table like thing up here. It's like what you would. It's almost like having like a meeting. Is a meeting at a boardroom. 
or being it's like being trying to be elected for mayor. Oh, there's that computer area map. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna expect next. And yep, we've got another set of pig, a piggy demon, and a nightmare spectre. Because I do like how the fire sky sets the, set the tone of the light here. Ah, oh, don't think I can use the Berserk Pack on all of the imps here. Alright, I'm not going to take any chances. I think I have to cut down a number of these imps and save the one for later. Save my Berserk Pack for the last one. Oh, I knew I saved it! There's the exit over here. Here it is, but we're not going to take that just yet. There's, there's lots of stuff we haven't explored yet. And as you can see, this is how the map is in this version. Not like what we saw in the BFG edition. And like I've said, it, this is not to be confused with Pandemonium, the video game I did a Let's Play of after my Let's Play of Heart of Darkness. Oh, they do take a bit of a beating. Ah, there's a supercharge right there. I'll save that for later on. Just get... Hmm. I wonder. It's been a while since I've been in here. Okay, I like how the... I like how the lighting changes in this version. Where you go through this acid pool where the lighting is green. I like the light. I like the green lighting in the acid pool rooms. That's one thing that makes this version of Doom unique: is the lighting, and the sound effects that you're hearing, and the music. The music composed by Aubrey Hodges. I mean, it's a bit different from like media ripoffs of like Metallica and Pantera songs. And it could not be wonderfully unsettling. Well, that's them taken care of again. Let's see here. Lost soul. Let's pick that up while we're Ah, where'd I... You! Got me! Oh, ouch! Oh, that's all I have to do that every time he shoots at me. After I... I in the form, the me and the former hu shotgun guy shoot at the same time. And like poof. Like every time that happens, I'm like poof. Oh, there's another supercharge right here. Ah, oh, there's a BFG 9000. But I decided, I did decide to save the other one for later. That's the reason. Now we can backtrack to the other supercharge I saved. That's the reason why I saved it. So I can come back for it later on. Wait, did I already said that? Never mind. Let's see, what else have we... I guess this is all the map. I guess this is all we've explored. Now we can go through the exit. Pandemonium finished. Because I'm doing well on these kills and items and secrets. And next up is House of Pain. Which we will do next time. Ah, oh, and again, the Pinky Deer has been startled. Just like the imp we saw in Hellkeep. Anyway, I'll see you next time as we go through the House of Pain. So until then, bye.